people that are underneath the overpass or living behind the truck stop. Most people just don't associate homelessness with the North Shore, but it's here. Answering a higher call three years ago, David Botner sold his home and successful business to take over the New Orleans mission. You've seen its face changing. Two, one. Now the next major step. What was the long vacant K Bar B ranch? Now the Giving Hope Retreat, a haven for those facing homelessness, addiction, and other traumas on both sides of the lake. So we're going to be very proactive in going to those pockets where we hear of people being and inviting them to this facility quickly. The New Orleans Mission and the Giving Hope Foundation bought this 60-acre site, nine buildings in the facility near Lacombe, a discipleship program now that takes members out of the distractions of the city, bringing them to the serenity of the North Shore for as long as a year, but only after two months of intensive counseling at the mission in the city. Getting them to the South Shore to get them safe, get them medically healed, get them physically healed, get them started on the spiritual path, and then they would be able to come back out here once they're more rooted and grounded. For St. Tammany, dealing with its own mental health and homelessness crisis, a godsend. This is major. Uh, it, it's hard to even describe how big this is. Literally in the works, an additional 18 rooms for homeless veterans. A Veterans Day fundraiser for that already on tap. Make no mistake, this is a God thing, a chance for residents to heal spiritually as well. It is a God thing for me. It was, it was something that God called me to the New Orleans Mission about three years and three months ago, and I always knew that we needed a component like this. I have a life. I know where my future is, and I'm not, you know what it is? I'm not afraid of anything anymore. Food for the soul? Food for the body as well. The facility will also be a regional distribution center for second harvest on the North Shore. Plans for expansion already in the works, including accommodations for sexually abused women. For so many, literally an answered prayer. In Lacombe, Heath Allen, WDSU News.